to your girl, Janisha John, and you are here at the Baddies Caribbean premiere, and you're locked into Great Tea News. All right, so shout out to uh, Hot New Hip Hop for the article. It says Diddy's former bodyguard foresees his arrest for Tupac's unaliving coming soon. Interesting, y'all. All right. It says uh, if this theory is true, things could get uh, even worse for Diddy. Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, claims an arrest for the bad boy mogul regarding the uh, unaliving of Tupac is imminent. Wow. During an appearance on The Art of Dialogue, Deal speculated how a federal investigation into Diddy, uh, which included the Homeland Security raids on his properties last month, could be uh, coming to a close. He says the feds are so deep and involved in this that Diddy just might be caught up on the Tupac ish, uh, Deal alleged. Quote, once they go through the money trail and find out why certain people were given certain positions, it's going to be a problem because they're going to look at all of that. Anything that can uh, they can bring up, they're going to bring it up. Y'all know I give Gene Deal the side eye because he got all this information and he always saying all this stuff. But, you know, he didn't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be feeling like he was an accomplice in a lot of this stuff. But, you know, anyways. Uh, it says from there, he mentioned uh, an alleged million dollar uh, check handed to Eric Von Zip. Uh, he claims it was a payment for a hit on the legendary rapper. Wow. When Zip came up with the check for a million dollars, he said it was from Black Ground uh, Records. And he said that who's he's got that money from. Wait, And he said that's who he got the money from. So now if that's true, then the fans will have to go in and do a money trace on where that check came from. Oh my God, he got all the T young. Like, dude, uh, you should go to jail too for even knowing this. Uh, ain't that what Rico cases is for? That's what Rico cases is for. You know a little too much. What else do you know? It says Deal also mentioned that uh, the recent release of footage showing Diddy appearing to uh, put his hands on Cassie at a hotel in 2016. He says that's why they tape. That's why the tape of Cassie was released. So anybody who was willing to try to help help him, anybody who was trying to say that he ain't capable of doing this, he ain't capable of doing that. They got it right there on video. If Diddy does face criminal charges for any of the allegations, Deal has previously admitted that he's willing to testify. Wow. How y'all feel about this, y'all? Uh, this is crazy, man. Right, great. That's how I feel about Gene. Uh, he was another one collecting a check. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Crazy crazy you can't make this up you can't make this up man let's keep it going though check this out it says dj academics uh reveals three outlandish ways diddy could change his public image this is crazy uh and dj academics got his own rape uh oh my god i didn't mean to say that grape he got his own grape uh situation going on okay he got his own grape situation going on so it says um DJ Academics uh, has a theory about how Diddy might get out of uh, his situation. DJ Academics is easily one of uh, the biggest commentators in the uh, hip hop world. Overall, he is known for having some massive uh, hot takes. Furthermore, he is controversial uh, thanks to the way he has covered hip hop. He is also controversial for the legal battle he is currently embroiled in. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Having said that, Academics remains a prominent guest on podcasts and shows. People want his opinion on the culture, especially when you consider what is going on with Diddy, as well as Drake and Kendrick Lamar. All right. It says uh, recently Academics was on a podcast with Lamar Odom where they spoke on the subject of Diddy. Uh, it was here where uh, Academics uh, revealed three ways in which Diddy <clears throat> could change public perception. Although it may not protect him from legal scrutiny, he thinks there is a way Diddy can win uh, people over. As he explains, coming out as either zesty 
or uh, a transformer would uh, be one option. Moreover, he could say that his actions were the result of poor mental health and that he is now seeking therapy. Check this out, y'all, man. Fair use. Let me post this up. Let me post this up. All right. So let's check this out. Fair use. Right now. Like, yo, if you don't, if you're not trying to get canceled, it's the only way to be. I, I think Diddy got to do that. What? I said there's three ways Diddy could get out of his situation publicly. I don't know about the feds. The feds might still get him. <clears throat> One, he got to come out, tell the whole world that he'd been gay or been bi or that really he always identified as a woman. That's, that's one way. Second way is to say that he had mental health issues and, you know, he's seeking really, therapy. Yeah, yeah. He's, mm. you know, he's been seeking therapy to send therapy. Mm. The last way is to say he apologizes, but all his actions was because he was touched as a child. Yeah, mm. Only three ways. And and people will be like, you know what? Oh, you got fucked too? No, what are yep. you doing free coughs? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. No, real talk. Like, <laughs> That's again, crazy. Like, you know, we live in a land of trauma and... If people see you as a monster just enacting yeah. unwanted, unprecedented trauma yeah. without you at least leading up to like, like, I mean, obviously he's not white. Like, remember the whole thing with like Timothy McVeigh, the nigga, the white like terrorist that was mm -hmm. like, oh, well, let's look into his past. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if a black dude could pull it up, but I think they did. Yeah. Do y'all agree with that? I, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't think people care at this point. I think Diddy didn't did so much stuff. I don't think it, it, it'll be hard to sympathize with with Diddy. I mean, it, it is. I mean, it's just hard to sympathize with him. All right, Diddler is already done publicly. Any plan is not good enough. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I, I just I just don't get it. He said, "Oh, he said he's bouncing theories for himself." Yeah, yeah. He said anything that can bring the dealer down, uh, I will be thrilled. Remember, all of this is alleged. Even with the situation with Cassie, he can't be charged for that. So we, you know, it, that's more just a public, you know, a you know, a pu a public judgment thing. But in the court system, as of now, he's he hasn't been charged with anything. That's the crazy thing about it so far, you know. Uh, Ak will always support the weirdos because he is one. Yeah, man, that, that little boom situation was crazy. He said, spoken like a real liar. Uh, you said he had the means to get therapy before he getting caught. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Which is going to lead us into this, okay? Which is going to lead us into this, man. All right, so let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Uh... Pat Patrick Bed David and Tucker Carlson discussed the leak hotel footage of Diddy beating uh um uh, Cassie with Tucker Carlson saying a man who grows up with a strong father in the household does not uh put his hands on women but a man who grows up with a single mom becomes more likely to exploit and put their hands on women I don't know if I agree with that I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all agree with that, but uh, let's see what he has to say, y'all. Fair use. Yeah. Money worshippers are so stupid. Oh, my wealth will protect me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How many people have thought that? A lot. Jeffrey Epstein thought that. Yeah. Everybody thinks that. Yeah. That's the lie of wealth. It's going to protect you. Diddy's like, oh, they're not going to do anything to me. And watch what's going to happen to Diddy next. Did you see his apology I haven't video? been following the deal. Yeah. Well, they showed a video of, 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 I know you, you probably obviously probably listen to a lot of hip hop. You give me the vibes of it, but I do. Yeah. yeah. So Diddy, Ficinata. yeah, I can totally see it. So Diddy uh, is, uh, uh, the video comes out of him beating Cassie, his ex-girlfriend, that within 24 hours, they settled for $30 million and that story was gone like a year ago or something like that. So finally the video comes out from 2016, <laughs> this video, he's hitting her in the head, pulling her hair, dragging her middle of the hotel. Who beats women? Like, I, I don't want to be racist or anything, but, like, you're not supposed yeah. to beat women, right? Yeah. Well, you know, Diddy, a few years ago, was commenting on Chris Brown and Rihanna's controversy on Ellen DeGeneres. And he says, you know, let's just pray for them because we don't know what they're going through. Let's pray for them before we assume what they're going through. Let's just pray for them. So 
maybe that's what he's going through right now. And then they leak the video. So all these guys that grew up yeah. as single mothers that are, are really mad at women. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. Have you seen the numbers of how we went from single mothers in 1960 to today? The matriarchy leads to wife beating. I'm just telling you that. A man with a strong father does not beat women. For sure. You can't beat women. You don't send them off to fight your wars. You don't beat them up. Um, you treat them with respect. That's the man who grew up in a household with a strong father. The man who grew up in a household with a mom, you know, loving but also arbitrary and um, flaky, that guy hates women. He becomes a womanizer, not in a fun way, in a bad abusive way. way. Abusive, yeah. exploits women, and then he beats them up. And that is there is a direct connection. You're not going to find many wife beaters who grew up with a strong dad at home, mm -hmm. but you'll find a ton who grew up with mom. So that it's one of the many ironies uh, that we don't acknowledge, but we should acknowledge it. If you care about you know preventing violence against women, encourage yeah. two parent families with like real dads. Like don't fight the patriarchy, embrace the patriarchy, and you get less wife beating. So you can. <laughs> so, so so so. By the way, am, am I right? I'm just taking it. Yeah, y'all agree with this? I, I I thought Diddy dad. I thought Diddy had a dad. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little lost on that situation, and it's crazy how they kind of just correlate. You know, I guess major what you know. I don't know. I, I'm kind of irritated by this. I didn't really listen to the whole thing until now. Um, but I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if I agree with that because I'm sure there's plenty of guys that's had their father in their life and they still end up being uh, in DV situations. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like they I feel like they doing that, too. I feel like they doing that, too. Yeah, I, I'm not feeling that. I, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. I'm, I'm not feeling that. I don't agree. Yeah, you can definitely hear the undertones. Yeah, you can definitely hear it. This is crazy, man. Yeah, I don't agree with it either. Yeah, they're putting everybody un under one umbrella. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, man, I, I didn't agree with that. I just uh, felt like it was very interesting. I came across that clip and just from the caption alone, I was like, what the heck? Yeah, I don't know if I agree with this, but um, they acting like Diddy just can't be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, how about Diddy just crazy? How, how about that? Let, let's not bring parenting, upbringing. Uh, some, you know, some people are just inherently like just evil. You know what I'm saying? Some people are just evil. It just is what it is. I feel like Diddy is just one of those people who's just a weirdo. You know what I'm saying? He's just a weirdo, man. Yeah, he was definitely stereotyping. Definitely.